This is indeed a tangible classic example of a four more to do more in action in the Western region. These and other ongoing synergistic transport infrastructure projects like the PTC interchange aimed at easing traffic bottlenecks for efficient economic activities, the people of Western region and I say we are most grateful. This is the first time in the life of Ghana Post and Abbas Authority that on a single day, we are commissioning two mega projects and also cutting sword to commence the construction of two big ones. The project today that we've commissioned and we've launched is a carefully made expansion plan that provides for the various categories of cargo, specifically dry bulk, liquid bulk, containerized, and general cargo. These interventions will enhance cargo handling capacity, maintenance and repair of ships, and also meet the demands of the rigors of the oil and gas services sector within the Takrani port enclave. Government never loses the sight of the primacy of the private sector in our national development. And that is, I wish to commend the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority for its partnership with the private sector in rolling out these projects. We note with satisfaction the important role of the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund in mobilizing funds to support the development and implementation of these projects. The Ghanaian people and I are hopeful that the oil service terminal and the floating dry dock projects, which I have been cutting the saw, will be completed on schedule to avoid cost overruns. The benefits of these projects are considerable. The enhanced cargo and container handling capacity of the port will trigger improved service delivery and lower tariffs to the advantage of the Ghanaian and West African economies. It will ultimately ensure a competitive environment for maritime trade. I assure you, the government will continue to put in place measures and incentives to support the growth of strategic public-private endeavors to help build a strong and resilient economy. And in doing so, the flourishing of the Ghanaian business community will continue to remain government's priority.